uh, you were talking about the foundations of our constitution and mentioning the role that uh, George Bezos had to play even at the onset of our own democracy. Our next guest, of course, is somebody who would have contributed to the process and I imagine also had some kind of history yeah. with uh, Mr. Bezos. Before we get into that conversation, let's have a look at uh, what uh, Prof. Tulima Donsela had to say on Twitter uh, to the news. Uh, he fought a good fight in pursuit of a just South Africa that belongs to all who live in it. Set to see this resolute social justice and integrity crusader go to join Madiba and his other compatriots. Heartfelt condolences to the family, friends and uh, colleagues. And Advocate Tudima Donsela is joining us now on the line. Advocate, good evening and thank you for your time tonight as we reflect on the life of um, uh, George Bezos. Let's talk about um, how important it was for him uh, to protect and uphold and advance a culture of human rights in South Africa and what we can learn from it. Good evening, Tavo and, and Kathy. Thank you for the privilege. Firstly, to speak as condolences to the family and friends of Advocate George Bezos. He lives a huge legacy of defending human rights, advancing democracy, advancing social justice, and combating corruption. It's sad to see him go, but he truly did fight a good fight. And uh, holding power accountable, that's something that uh, you know very well, but it is something that uh, Advocate George Bezos, I suppose, lived for um, all his life, is it not? He did. From the moment he came to this country, he, he, firstly, I must just say that he was so egalitarian and, and, and so grounded that he became friends with anyone. And my son and I spent hours and hours with him telling us about his history, how he came to this country as a refugee, and how, um, for him, crusading for justice for all was a way of paying back for the fact that this country, despite its cruel cool history, gave him a place, and he used that space, he used that privilege to advance justice for all. And uh, absolutely, and we have been reflecting and talking about the fact that he himself initiated an independent forensic work to expose the, the kind of horrors of uh, the massacre that played out in, in, in Marikana. And that, that, that tells you there is no place where he was afraid to go. There wasn't a place where, in, 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 as, as the last speaker said, he contributed immensely to some of the justice we've seen in Marikana, even though the full story hasn't been told, but at least some of the forensic work that we've done. As a young lawyer, I remember George Bezos as the ultimate advocate. His um, cross-examination skills used to hear those apartheid witnesses and apartheid lawyers into pieces. So that's what I remember him for, apart from supporting everything I was doing as a public protector, uh, as he was working with the Katarada Foundation, Nelson Mandela Foundation. And I think he never rested a day because he believed that as long as he was on earth, it was still his duty to make sure that South Africa belongs to all who live in it and that there is truly justice for all. You know, of course, ha having a title such as advocate and uh, dealing with high-profile cases all the time may look like a big deal from, from the outside looking in. It may look like the place for any lawyer to really aspire to be, but it takes a lot of hard work. What does it take to be able to do that? As you grow older, as we're seeing the life of George Bezos into his, his old age and really staying committed to it um, right up until the end? Well, it takes, Kathy, firstly, commitment. And it takes um, reading a lot. He read a lot. He was really an encyclopedia on the law, on cases, on each matter. You could speak about him, about any subject with him. And, oh, God. He died with a huge encyclopedia on Greek philosophy and mythology. 
Yeah, indeed. Uh, and uh, Advocate Madanzal, we appreciate your time and thank you very much uh, for joining us uh, tonight.